gentlemen, the President of the United States, the Vice President, and Mr. Doug Quiggy. Be seated. Fifty years ago, Jay Berwanger of the University of Chicago was a powerful halfback and a hero to millions of football-loving Americans, including a certain sportscaster named Dutch Reagan. Uh, in 1935, he won a new award, the Heisman Trophy, and a great American tradition was born. The list of Heisman Trophy winners reads like an honor roll. There was Niall Kinnick of Iowa, who was a brilliant running back and a true patriot who gave his life during World War II. There were the great young men of Notre Dame, Angelo Bertelli, John Lujak, and others who kept on going out there for the Gipper. In recent years, we've seen players set new standards of excellence. Champions like Earl Campbell, Herschel Walker, last year's trophy winner, Mike Rozier, and this year, well, this year, there's a young man who stands in a class by himself, Doug Flutie. When Doug Flutie arrived on the Boston College campus in 1981, he was just a fourth-string quarterback. And since that time, he has put together the most prolific passing career any major college quarterback has ever had. He's given us fans a host of moments to remember, including a play during the final seconds of this year's Boston College-Miami game that will go down in football history. And with the score of Miami 45, as you all well know, BC 41 and just seconds left in the clock, Doug took the snap, dropped back, and with the clock at zero, he fired a sky-high 65-yard pass right, arched into the end zone and right into the hands of Boston College receiver Gerard Phelan. BC won the game. Doug Flutie won our eternal ad admiration. And for 50 years, the Heisman Trophy has stood for loyalty, courage, teamwork, and a ceaseless striving for excellence. And Doug Flutie, it's an award that you richly deserve. Congratulations, and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's indeed an honor for, for myself to be here in the presence and, and having the uh, opportunity to meet the president. And thank you very much for your comments. Uh, I'm excited to be here at the White House, and it is uh, a great opportunity for my, my whole family also. I'd like to welcome uh, the fellows from Gonzaga High School and uh, wish you all the luck in the future. It's, it's a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. The Heisman Trophy is something that means a lot. And it's something that I never would have expected. And just, I guess for you guys, if, if you can dream it, it's possible. I never could have dreamed winning the Heisman or being here in this situation. And it's something I'll treasure for the rest of my life. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, it is an honor to be here today, and I'd like to inform everyone that honoring the Heisman's 50th at the Downtown Athletic Club, for the first time in award history, we have made a reduced replica to bring to Washington today. Mr. President, on behalf of the Downtown Athletic Club of New York and the Heisman Trophy Committee, it is a pleasure to make you an honorary Heisman winner. Remember when we were 
met you in New York and you came over with Archbishop O'Connor. So that we were, don't forget I played guard at Eureka. So we had to do something out there. Yes. Well, thank you very much. I'm very pleased and proud to have this. I'm not even going to put it back down on the table. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Well, I guess this Oh, yes. I will put it down on the table. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. 